CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live at the scene. And Alice, what are you seeing now? Cindy, we're about five blocks away from this crane. Behind me, you can see our vantage point. They do have hoses concentrated still on that crane, but as the mayor just said, it appears that by all accounts, the fire seems to be either fully extinguished or nearly extinguished. They do have drones that are checking out that situation up there. We got an update a short time ago from the buildings commissioner and also the mayor. Here is what they had to say. As you see from the debris on the street, uh, this could have been much worse. Uh, we are extremely fortunate, number one, that we were not during the busy, busy time of the day. As you know, the Port Authority is here. Many of the buses moved through here. Uh, we were extremely fortunate. But we're also fortunate that the men and women of the FDNY and our first responders responded in such a manner and properly made the right evaluation of how to look at the fire that we were uh, presented and the crisis we were presented and coming up with the right effective solution to minimize any additional injuries. So this happened over at 550 10th Avenue. It is a building, as you can see, currently under structure. It's a mixed-use residential building. Now, when you're heading into New York City from the Lincoln Tunnel, you make the left, you drive down to turn to go toward 10th, you're on 41st. The building to your right is the hotel. To the left is Covenant House and the rest of that building under construction. The call came in around 725 this morning, a report of a crane on fire. You've seen the video. Uh, the crane arm collapses. It hits part of a luxury building across the street. Thank Thankfully, as the mayor mentioned, as the uh, buildings commissioner mentioned, this could have been a lot worse, about four or five injuries, minor injuries to civilians, to one or two firefighters as well. If you travel in that area, I mean, you know, it's, it's a high traffic, high volume spot over there. Um, so they're saying that this was a boom. It was carrying a 16 ton load of concrete that crashed to the ground. They've been evacuating buildings in the area. They had to stretch hose lines to the top floors. We saw them actually stretching those hose lines across the street. They had the water going from across the street onto the crane there. They do have drones up overhead so they can see where exactly the fire is at. But again, it is mostly extinguished at this time. They say the crane operator, again, lifting 16 tons of concrete, saw the fire, tried to extinguish it with hand extinguishers, but the fire was just too overwhelming. So he had to exit the crane. He was able to get out, is safe. They have uh, structural engineers here on scene. They're going to be looking at the structural integrity of both the building under construction, the crane, and also the building that was struck across the street. They're going to be looking at all parties, uh, you know, the construction company. Um, they're going to be looking at their records. They say it's difficult when you have a fire so far up stretching those hose lines. It takes a lot of manpower. They did have about 200 fire personnel here on scene. Again, this was a building under construction over here. Again, just minor injuries to report at this hour, thankfully, because again, as they pointed out, this could have been a lot worse. It's a high traffic, high volume spot. You're looking from our vantage point. Again, this is 46th and 10th. It looks like right now they don't have water on the crane at this moment, but we do see a tiny, tiny bit of smoke. But for the most part, again, that fire seems to be extinguished at this time. Cindy, we're live in Hell's Kitchen. We'll send it back to you. Alice, thank you.